हॅलो स्टुडंट्स वेलकम बॅक टू अवर चॅनल आजच्या व्हिडिओमध्ये आपण बघणार आहोत क्लास सिक्स ई व्ही एस चॅप्टर नंबर वन अवर अर्थ अँड अवर सोलार सिस्टीम याची क्वेश्चन अँड आन्सर चला तर मग लगेचच व्हिडिओला सुरुवात करूयात चॅप्टर नेम अवर अर्थ अँड अवर सोलार सिस्टम क्वेश्चन नंबर वन व्हॉट्स द सोल्युशन वन ऑफ द asteroids has fallen out of its place in the asteroid belt and is hurtling toward the sun earth is in its way and there is all likelihood of a collision what can be done to prevent this collision answer the first act to save the earth can be attacking the asteroid with the help of missile a missile can break a asteroid into smaller pieces the second way is to change the path of an advancing asteroid for changing the path of the asteroid spaceship or missile can be used to push the asteroid aside question number 2 use your brain power first What will happen to our solar system if the sun were to suddenly disappear? Answer. First, there would be darkness everywhere. Second, the cycle of day and night would come to heart. Third, all the plants will die as they will not be able to perform photosynthesis. Fourth, all the planets would stop revolving second suppose you want to give your address to a friend you have on the planet mars how will you write your address if you want them to understand exactly where you live answer if you want to give your address to a person lives on mars then you would inform him her to visit the planet which is the third towards sun in the solar system the planet is next to your planet and has one satellite moon in its orbit question number 3 in the picture below correct the sequence of the planets from the sun answer the wrong sequence in the picture is mercury venus mars earth saturn jupiter uranus and neptune the correct sequence should be mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune question number 4 who am i a you can see me from the earth but the lightened part of me that you see changes every day answer moon b i have my own light it is only from me that the planets get light and heat answer sun c i turn around myself i c i turn around myself around a planet and also around a star answer satellite d i turn around myself and revolve around the sun answer planet e no other planet has a living world like mine answer earth f i am the nearest star to the earth answer sun question number 5 a for what purpose are rockets used in space travel answer 
Space launch technology is used to send a spacecraft in outer space against the force of gravity. It requires tremendous amount of energy to launch the spacecraft which is thousands of tons in weight. This energy is obtained through burning of ample quantity fuel present in the rocket. B. What information do man-made satellites provide? Answer. Man-made satellites provide useful information on agriculture, environment, weather forecasting, searching for water and minerals from the earth. Such information can be used to make maps. Man-made satellites are also used for telecommunications. Question number 6. Fill in the blanks. First, stars have their own light. Second, the moon is called the satellite of the earth. Third, movement of the earth around the sun is called its revolution. Fourth, due to the earth's gravity, all the things on earth remain on it. Fifth, Pluto is a draft planet. Question number seven. Answer the following questions in one sentence. First, which is the star nearest to the earth? Answer. The sun is the star nearest to the earth. Second, how do the heavenly bodies exert a force of attraction on each other? Answer, heavenly bodies exert a force of attraction due to the force of gravity. Third, what is space? Answer, Space is the emptiness between and beyond the stars and planets. Fourth, what is an orbit? Answer, an orbit is the specific path on which the planets move around the sun. Fifth, why can't we see stars during the daytime? Answer, during daytime, there is bright light of the sun. Hence, we cannot see 